Hi guys, my name is Larry Herskowitz, I work in CookLab, and I wrote this software to track spinning microtubules. This is just a brief overview. If you want a more, if you have any questions, contact me. I have also written a manual that's a little bit more detailed. So, first thing you want to do is load your AVI. You click this button, and it loads it. The image shown below is actually the first frame of your AVI. Uh, that's loaded from this location. The number of frames is indicated here. So now with your AVI loaded, you're going to want to match a template to template it in each frame of your AVI. So the first thing I do is either load a template or create one. So let's create one for the fun. So what I'm going to do is draw a rectangle around the microtubule that I'm going to want to track. This will be served as my template. And when I'm happy with it, I'll hit create a template. This creates a template at the location shown here. Your template is also shown here as a binary image is shown here. The binary image helps calculate the radius which is shown here and the radius will be in nanometers because you would have put in a factor of you would have put in something besides one in nanometers per pixel factor. Now with the template loaded or created you can now match your template into your images. But the first thing you want to do is make this ROI a little bit bigger. So, we click this and look, a red rectangle around our microtubule. Questions? No? Okay, so that was our first image. Then we want to watch it rotate, so let's track it in each frame of the API. And there we go. You saw it move and rotate, and the red box keep track of it. The progress bar does what all progress bars do, and that's tell you the progress. So um, your data is shown here. The angle, the angle rotated, is on the y-axis, and the time is on the x-axis. The time is calculated through the seconds per frame factor. I again have it set to one. You can see that there's a best fit line in white set to this now. The best fit lines data, the best fit line characteristics are shown here with a slope and a y-intercept as well as an MSE. This slope is actually the angular velocity. Uh, the angular velocity times the radius, which we just calculated before, is equal to tangential velocity. There is also an outer radius and an inner radius, which is calculated a little bit differently, but is from the center to the inner portion of the microtubule and from the center to the outer portion. I'm not going to go into much detail how that's calculated. If you have any questions, again, me or Manuel. So, but what's good? What what good is it to watch this if you can't get the data out? So you have a couple options. The first thing is you can save the movie. Now this will save to this location, and we'll have this many frames per second. So again, you have to click this button to save it, and it moves a little bit slower as it writes the AVI. Okay, with that done you can watch that movie. However, you can't watch it while this is playing, so once I close out, I'll show you the movie we made. So, you also can save the data. You click this button, run through it again, and it will save the data from the movie. Now, say you forget to sa click that button before you watch the movie, but don't want to watch the movie again, you can click this button, save previous data, and you'll save the previous data's movie. I know, complicated. Well, that's a quick overview of how this program works. Let's look at some of the things we saved. So the first thing I want to look at is that movie. So it is... Here it is. And look at it spinning with this bright red rectangle around it. I know I like it too. All right. And then the other thing, is, or the more important thing, is the actual data. So let's go to that. Uh, here it is. So it says as columns, you have the time in seconds in the left, you have angle and radians, you have the radii of the circle, you also have the Y ax the Y values of the best fit line. The Y value combined with the time will give you the same best fit line as shown in the graph. And you also have the slope of that best fit line. If you want more if you want more things saved, 
just let me know. I can fix the program and save as many things as you want. Also saved is a picture of the front panel. Bam. Just in case you want to remember, oh, where did I save that image? Where, where did I save that template? Here, you know. Uh, as you can see, there's more things than I've shown you. This part over the left actually helps you calculate the inner and outer radius. It's written in more detail in the manual. Then I'm going to go, so I'm not going to go into it right now. Below here is advanced learning, uh, is more settings to for advanced learning and the pattern matching software. Again, written about in the manual. The most important stuff is as I've shown you right here. So, hopefully that handles everything. My name is Larry Herskowitz, and I'm out.